at the tail of the tape for this one in the welterweight division. John Fitch and Marcelo Alfaya, 35-34, six feet to 5'11". There you see the weights and the reach advantage to John Fitch. We now set it inside the cage. That is where Jazz Securo has the official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back at the Bank United Center in Coral Gables, Florida. This fight is scheduled for three rounds of the World Series of Fighting Welterweight Division. And now, introducing fighting out of the blue corner, his record sits with 16 wins, six defeats, and one draw. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall and weighed in at an even 172 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, introducing Marcelo Grillo Keys to victory, very good on the ground, but you know you're fighting Fitch, so you gotta stay off the ground. Needs to have a lot of stamina to stop the non-stop pressing action from Fitch. And like I said, try to keep it on the feet and go for a knockout. If it does go to the ground, get Fitch in the guard. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing his opponent on my left, fighting out of the red corner, his record, 27 wins, four defeats, and one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds and a half, fighting out of Fort Wayne, Indiana, presenting John Fitch! Fitch is striking, is getting better and better at uh, American Academy of Kickboxing, a.k.a. He's got a non-stop push the action to take his opponent striking away and set up the takedowns. Once on the ground, do what he does best, ground and pound. Well, John Fitch knows just how important this fight is, and he told us exactly what he wants to do once the fight begins. In order to win this fight, I have to be aggressive. I have to uh, make sure I'm avoiding his power and uh, just use pressure. Use pressure, drag him into the deep end and drown him. And when the action begins, your referee is Troy Waugh. So here we go, boss. John Fitch taking on Marcelo Alfaio in the welterweight division of the World Series of Fighting. This one's scheduled for three. Did Fitch train hard on the strike there at the American Kickboxing Academy? Ready? This is important. Are Fight, are you ready? Fight, are you ready? Have all these great strikers there. He's got to throw. Oh, that's too slow. He can't kick like that. He needs to go faster. There he is, looking for the takedown. Oh, look at here. Alfaya looking for a takedown and securing it. And he's looking to step over the mount. He might jump over there. Only one more need to pass. See if he actually is going to do it. Fitch should be ready for this. He should keep pushing there. Keep pushing up with his right knee. He cannot let him step over. And Boston, one of your keys to victory, you talked about keeping the pace up. Who does this slower pace, more methodic pace favor in your opinion? Methodic pace, you want to look at the bodies. You know, uh, uh, Fitch is the lean muscle mass. He can probably has probably more endurance than Alfaya has. He's got a lot of muscle. They need a lot of oxygen. oxygen. So, uh, yeah, the slow pace fights, I think, slowly but surely. Grinding, I think, would Fitch would uh, be better than. But I'm talking going into the third round. Yeah. <laughs> Got his back right away. Look wow. at this. Look at this. Something that does not happen very often to John Fitch. Giving up the back to Marcelo Alfaya. Alfaya also caught the left arm of John Fitch. You see that? And he figured four locked it. So he got only one arm, his right hand, to defend rear naked chokes. He's got to stay super calm now. And if I was him, I would press my jaw against my shoulder. Don't do it like you're doing right now, because they might slip under. It's very dangerous. Trying to get the wrist control, but at the same time, Alfaya is just popping him with those nuisance shots. He's got to break that grip with his right hand. 
Right now he can't do it, but Fitch has to push against the left knee of Alfaya. He's got to push that away so he can get his arm free. And it's off. It's free. Alfaya exerting a oh, lot of energy nice. and now taking the back again of Fitch. Great job here. He needs that hook, otherwise he might lose control. Body triangle. This is going to make it hard to breathe for Fitch. Alfaya no trying to lock up that shoulder. He, he can even go now. Uh, because the head four go both uh, under arm. Uh, how do you call it? Double Nelson, full Nelson. In Holland, they call it a double Nelson. Full Nelson here. If he goes with his left arm underneath the armpits, then he could pull off a full Nelson. That would be something. Fish just trying to find a way to pop out of this. He's got to really watch out. He can't stand. He's got to watch methodically, make sure he's, his jaw is protected, and then he might go stand. Let go of his glove, John. Let go of his glove. Let go of his glove, John. Now, here I'm talking about all these big muscles. Wow. They're putting a lot of oxygen in there now. A lot, a lot of like an acid because they're pulling, 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 pulling. You know? And I was going to ask you, how much energy is Marcelo Alfaya exerting? I mean, he's the one that's really doing all the work and exertion. Fitch is just trying to ward him off. That's it. That's it. Exactly right. They should favor Fitch in the striking department once it goes back to the feet. Well, Faya certainly has him locked up at the midsection, unable to allow Fitch to really do anything at all as Fitch is trying to spin around, rotate, maybe use the cage as his friend, but still maintaining some kind of control on those wrists. And again, some heavy leather coming down from Alfaya. You know what Fitch was doing there? Elbowing the thigh, not a bad idea at all. But you gotta do it the right way. I'm watching close, we're good. And you talked about the Mohawk rule here in Florida. It's basically if you have a Mohawk haircut, that is the reason of the head you cannot attack of your opponent. Yeah, that includes the top of the head for the people who know the normal mixed martial arts rules. You're not allowed to hit the top of the head. So the Mohawk all the way from the front to the back. Well, I think Alfaya is probably going to take this round as we go under 20 seconds. But, boss, John Fitch has done a great job of just maintaining and how much energy basically has he there saved he with Alfaya doing all the work. He shouldn't go for a takedown now. Well, he will because he's got a lot of energy. But, he, you know, I would say save the energy and go to round number two. We'll have the second round when we return to Coral Gables, Florida. Steve Carl, the pride of Bell Plain, Iowa, getting ready. He is part of the co-main event going head-to-head -head with Josh Berkman tonight. But we've got a good battle right now inside the cage in the welterweight division. John Fitch going head-to-head -head with Marcelo Alfaya. Boss Root, and I'd have to say I'd probably give that one to Alfaya, but yep. Fitch did a great job defensively of warding off all the submission attempts that Alfaya was trying to throw at him. Yeah, and now we're going to see if Alfaya spent a lot of energy because Fitch is coming forward, and he knows he needs to, know, to win the next two rounds. He's going to take him down. This is Fitch's game. Yep. And look at the power. If Fitch is going to fight like he fought against Eric Silva, leg lock attempt here from Alfaya. He's got to watch out. Good wow. escape here from Fitch. Fitch just rains down a big shot, puts Alfaya up against the cage. And again, Alfaya grabs the leg. What Fitch can do now is he can sit on that hand. Oh, because then he wow. has no defense there. 
Fitch got to pull this off. He cannot allow this guy to take him down. A fire if he gets him on the ground, that is not a good thing. He needs to get back up. A fire showed in the first round, he can keep him down. So John Fitch comes out at the start of round number two with a big flurry, gets Alfaya to the ground, and it's Alfaya once again taking Fitch's back. back. Oh. Fitch is out, nice beautiful scramble. escape, look at this. And he's pushing, pushing, pushing. This is Fitch's game plan. When he fought Eric Silva, and Eric Silva was one of those guys that I thought would go to the top, I mean, Fitch was all over yeah. him. And that's how we started round number two now. If we see that Fitch, he's gonna win this fight. John Fitch in the black trunks, Marcelo Alfaya in the white trunks. Alfaya looks so much stronger. And boss, I think for the folks at home that aren't familiar with MMA, this takes out a lot of energy. The defense and the in the tight clinch up against the cage. Both guys are not just relaxing on each other, leaning on each other. They're both trying to break that hold and trying to improve their position. Yeah, Alfaya's leaning forward. There's a constant pressure on his core that fills up with leg that has it. And what I always say, your lungs are behind your core, and it starts pressing, filling up, bloating up like like bodybuilders. I would almost say and starts pressing your lungs away. There's a lot of stress here now. Well, John Fitch is trying to break that clinch of Alfaya. And uh, John Fitch is constantly having those underhooks. It's like having a little uh, kid in your hand. Well, a little, a big one. And lifting it the whole hit. time, whole time. And that's why it's so hard. Right, right run when they break, it's gonna be hard for them to strike. Because now they've been pulling, pulling, yeah. pulling. And the striking is pushing, pushing, pushing. Or oh, with a snap, of course. So John Fitch right now has got himself a bit of a defensive stance here up against the cage. Alfaya has got his head down, trying to control Fitch. Fitch should really start working here. He should trust his gas tank and go full blast. Pull him up with everything he's got. Then again, Alfaya is super strong. Just yeah. the way if you look at him, it's already, it's, you see strength. It all comes down to who can impose whose will on their opponent. And right now, both these men are locked into it. Look at that. As Alfaya is able to pick up Fitch and immediately takes the back again. And back escape. I wanted to say he's going to do a backdoor escape. He's going to do it. Yep, yep. there he is. <laughs> Beautiful. He doesn't want to repeat of round number one. There is a nice uppercut here by John Fitch. Fitch connects on the uppercut. Alfaya looks gassed. Yeah, and dazed a little bit. And you can see his muscles, his shoulders. You see, they're all bloated up right now. Just put it a lot of like the Edson in there. Punches start being less effective. Alfaya comes back with a nice uppercut. Yep. Coming up on a minute to go here in number round number shot. two. I had to expect that from somebody who was born on the same day as me. John Fitch, he just threw a liver shot. February 24th. Nice. Nice knee as well. Fitch now slowly putting together some nice combinations. He's got to pull him up. He's got to pull him up. He's got to pull the hands up. He's got to do something. Alfaya is going to take him down again, Alfaya. That's it. Pushing your head off. He's 30 seconds Atlanta. to go in this round. You see, the longer the fight goes, I told you. Going to favor Fitch, I think, because Alfaya still has a lot of power. It's John Fitch and Marcelo Alfaya as we come to the end of round number two. And we will see a third and final round in the welterweight division when we return to Coral Gables, Florida.
the lovely Cat Kelly doing the ring card girl obligations tonight here at Bank United Center, Coral Gables, Florida, World Series of Fighting Six. And this is a good one in the welterweight division. John Fitch, Marcelo Alfaya, and Boss Rutten. I think I've got this one one round apiece. I think so too. And uh, what I said before, my, my question is answered. John Fitch definitely worked hard on the striking. Looking great in round number two. Connected with a few shots. Alfaya seems to be more tired, but he's coming forward and he's got a lot of power. So I might be mistaken as well. Fitch does look to be the crisper fighter here in the early parts of round three. Alfaya, though, as Boss pointed out, has a ton of power. Oh, there's that uppercut again. Now, Fitch fought a lot of fights yep. and a lot of three round fights. So he's been here. This is home turf for him. Great pro. With 4.10 to go in this fight, we check in ringside with Joey Varner. I was in the. Thanks, Todd. I was in the corner of John Fitch, and his coaches are imploring him to keep the fight standing. They say, keep your back off the fence, take control of the center of the cage, let your hands go, and you'll win this fight. Yeah, that's good advice, don't you think, boss? I think so, too. Yep. He's got to watch out with his back against the fence, though. As soon as Joey said it, he had his back against the fence. And I imagine if Joey Varner could be in two places at once, Alfaya's nice. group would have said, get him to the ground. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Fitch he's is just scoring. Off. Man, we see a new and improved John Fitch here. Look at that. Oh. And you've got to think in the back of John Fitch's mind, he wants this victory so bad so he could get another shot at Josh Berkman, who fights later tonight. Wow. And that was in his head in the training camp. I bet you had a picture of Berkman on the back. You go, well, I'll be back with you. Three minutes to go in this one. Fitch has got the bear hug here. That's better than a double on It's going to be hard. Although Lafaya, Alfaya, sorry, is so strong, he's got to watch out for a hip toss. You know, if this fight does go the way of John Fitch, you've got to think Marcelo Alfaya, after oh. two rounds, thinks he had it. But it's that third round that John Fitch has really turned it on. You know, he just scored another right body shot, the two shots to the head. Look at wow. this. Everything is a hit. His big body lock throws him up against the cage. He wants to take the fight to the ground now, wants to be on top. He's got to watch out. I would say keep the corners game plan. Look at this. Up against beautiful sprawl. Make Alfaya do all the work. And this late in the fight, I, I mean, as strong as Alfaya is, I don't know if he has the strength to get Fitch up off the ground for a slam. He's got to pull, Fitch has got to pull, Alfaya's got to pull, he's got to pull his toe him to the side. Can he lock his hands? Almost. But it's a little too high, he wants to be a little lower, but because of the wide stance of Fitch, he can. Wow, uh, this is fantastic. Both these guys absolutely gassed Boss Rutten and still going at it. Wow. One and a half minutes, Fitch connect again with the right. Under 90 seconds. Oh, high kicks. Wow. Oh. oh, my. Fitch came in with all kinds of force, and Alfaya's in trouble. Wow, big shot from Fitch here. These are power shots. Man, he wants to finish this fight. He's got to keep falling, push him down. Under a minute to go, how is Alfaya fighting back after that punishment he just took? God, this guy is very tough. I mean, he took five clean shots to the grill from John Fitch, and he has the wherewithal to scramble up and try to lock him up. Let me push him up against the fence. He might try to go for another takedown. Fitch is throwing uppercuts underneath the armpit. Nice hip movement here from Fitch. He knows it's only 25 seconds. Alfaya climbs it back, but Fitch throws him off. 
And that's going to about do it with 15 seconds to go. Alfaya just has nothing left in the gas. But still coming back up. What a fight. Wow. For the official decision, you're watching World Series of Fighting Six from Coral Gables, Florida. Back inside Bank United Center in Coral Gables, Florida, at the conclusion of an exciting welterweight bout between John Fitch and Marcelo Alfaya, we go inside the cage. Jazz Secura has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of fighting, we will go to the judges' scorecards for your winner, and they have given us a split decision. What? Judge Tim Vanetta scores at 29-28, Fitch. Judge Rich Green scores at 29-28, Alfaya. And Judge Elicio Rodriguez scores at 29-28 for your winner by split decision. John Fitch! John Fitch gets the win by split decision. As we take a look at the Boost Mobile highlights, round number one, boss, I think clearly it was Marcelo Alfaya that got that one. Yep, that was his round all over him. A lot of power, a lot of force. Got him in a body triangle, caught his arm. Did everything right. Round number two, John Fitch comes out with a flurry early on, and Alfaya weathered it, and then he started to get after it. But it was John Fitch early, clearly, in the first minute, minute and a half. Yes, and I, I think he, he was going very strong. Look how he escapes here. We have another one that he escaped the back door. Look at that uppercut landing really hard. And the third and final round, I'd say this one is all John Fitch. It was, everything he hit was almost uh, connected. Look at that, uppercut left, Duke. Those punches, yeah. So, I didn't see the split decision. Yeah. Get ready. Uh-huh. Listen. What you want to do? If you don't strike first, that's when they gonna come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Being timid, that ain't cool. Nah.